today we are going to create these five digital ring binders using the app Keynote and I will show you how. When you are ready, open the Keynote app and let's begin. First, let's create a presentation and any size and theme will do, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using the theme Basic White. So let's delete all of this because we are not going to use it. The first one that we are going to create is the simplest one, but needless to say, all of the binders that I will be showing to you today are super easy. So to start, tap the plus icon, then shapes, and in the basic category, select the circle. Then let's fill it up with a color and I will choose the gradient. Then the start color as black and the end color as this one. Or yeah, this one. Now let's add a shadow and I'm just choosing the one that seems right for me right now. And I might change it later or not we'll see <laughs> then let's add this rounded square and we can resize this shape by tapping then moving these little circles now let's change the colors of the shapes and i am just going to adjust and resize these shapes and when satisfied copy and paste this circle then move the duplicate to the back by going to the arrange option in the brush icon and adjusting this. If you need some guides when adjusting, click these three little dots in the upper right corner, then click guides, then turn on the guides that you need. Now we are going to duplicate this set by selecting the shapes, then select copy. I am not grouping them because I want the spacing guides to activate and now I have to create a few sets. Now I am going to group them to be able to uniformly resize everything and when satisfied with the size, I am going to ungroup, then copy, then paste a number of times. To finalize the look, I am just going to add the pages of the notebook and don't forget to arrange it so that the pages are at the very bottom. And that's it for the overall look of the first type of binder. For the next one, click the plus icon in the lower left to add another slide and any type will do because we are going to delete all the text boxes anyway. And this second one is essentially the same as the first one, except that instead of only a circle, here we have two concentric circles. Circles which are of the same center, which kind of depicts an eyelid. So the process is generally the same, the circles, then the color as gradient, and the outer circle can be of any color that you want, and the inner circle can still be any color that you want, but mine depicts more of a hole. Then add the binder part, which is a rounded cornered square again, then resize. Change the color too if you want, and add some shadows. And don't forget to arrange the shapes accordingly by clicking the Arrange option under the brush icon. And if you find things that you do not like along the way, for example, the color or the shadows, you can change them. That is the beauty of going digital. Once that there is a set, you can group them, then resize, then ungroup. And then copy and paste a number of times until satisfied with how many sets you have. If even after that, you still think that the size is too big, select them again, then group, resize, and adjust, then ungroup, then copy and paste again. Also, do not forget to use your guides, especially your spacing guides. And that's it for the second binder.
for the third one, first, let's make another slide. And this time, instead of a circle as a whole, I want it to be a square to change it up. And also, two rings. Because whenever I see a squared holes in notebooks, they always have two rings in every set. So, two rings it is. So to create those, I use the rounded cornered squares again. And for the color gradient of the shapes, I choose to have the lighter color as the upper one and the darker color as lower to make it seem like the light source is from above. So the process is still quite the same as the previous ones. Here I already have one set, so I am just going to copy and duplicate it. Then group them so I can resize all of them uniformly. Then ungroup and then copy. And before pasting, make sure that your spacing guide is turned on and then paste. <laughs> When you are done, just add the notebook pages and here I realized that the holes look like they are floating and that is weird. So I changed the shadow that I used and yeah, no shame in that. And we are done with another binder and here is what it looks like when finished. Let's add another slide for the fourth one. And I like the two rings Hanash. So we are going to repeat that, but we are going to change the shape of the hole. You can see the shape under geometry. And for the rings, it is the same rounded cornered square under basic. Once that those are laid out, we can change the colors, add some shadows, resize the shapes, and check the proportions if they are okay. Then duplicate the hole, and we have a set now, so group them. Then resize the entire set and position it along the center line of the page. You can make sure that it is centered by turning on the center guide and you can do that by clicking the three dots, then guides, then center guides. Then ungroup the set, copy, and then paste until you have enough. So as I am finishing this one up, just a little segue, if this tutorial helped you in any possible way, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you can be notified and be up to date to any of my videos in the future. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And if you want to connect with me on other social platforms, you can check the description box below for the links. So yeah, back to the tutorial. This one under the shapes, you can see these different collections or categories. And under the objects category, we are going to use this padlock icon as holes for this type of binder. If you want, you can explore a little bit more and find other icons that you can use. But for now, I will be going to use this one. For the actual hole, I added another circle so that the padlock icon looks like a pretty eyelet. Then let's add the binder ring by using the rounded cornered square again. Then duplicate the padlock and the circle. Also, I want the design to alternate between padlock design and the simple type of binder ring. So here I am making a circle which is of the same size as the round part of the padlock and copying the inner circle of the padlock that we created a while ago. Now that we have a set, grouped, and resized, we can place it along the center, then ungroup. The shadow are again a little off, so I'll just quickly change it. And also the space between them are too much, so I'll adjust that too. And then select them all, then copy, and then paste. Now I think that the size are a little too big, so I am going to select them all again, then group them. This size, and then ungroup. Then I am gonna copy a set, then paste until I have enough. And add some pages to look like a real notebook, and we are done.
So if you make any of these binders and upload it on Instagram, do not forget to tag me. And that's it. Thank you for being here today and following or watching the tutorial. I hope I was able to help you and yeah, see you next time. Bye!